my name is Ben Tui. Um, I'm a paleontologist at the Natural History Museum in Luxembourg, uh, curator of paleontology here. And I wrote a paper with two colleagues, one being Leah Nunberger, who is also a paleontologist, research associate here at the museum. And the third co-author, the, the second co-author is uh, John Yacht from the uh, Natural History Museum in Maastricht in, in the Netherlands, also a paleontology curator. We found a new species of brittle star fossil. It was already dug out uh, more than 20 years ago, but we discovered it as being a new species. We do have quite precise age of the fossil. It's uh, estimated to be 66.7 million years old. We uh, combined uh, two of our passions, namely fossils and rock music. Uh, you, you could name it after anything and anybody. And uh, we decided to pick a, uh, a very uh, quite uh, famous vocalist who happens to be from the Netherlands, which is uh, evidently uh, a nice context in this case. And uh, we decided to go for Floor Jansen, vocalist of the of, uh, symphonic metal band Nightwish because she already in the past displayed quite a uh, fascination for all things uh, nature and, and, and used fossils as artwork of her, of her uh, covers. And she expressed a general interest in naturalistic things. And of course we are fans, otherwise uh, it wouldn't work out. So it is kind of a way to celebrate the mutual inspiration. There is an exhibition, a traveling exhibition, that is called Rock Fossils on Tour. And as the name already says, it's about fossils that are related to rock music. It's also an, uh, a, play, a, play, an, 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 a play of words because, well, fossils are rocks, but fossils also uh, rock. And there is a, a, a surprisingly high number of uh, fossil species that are named after rock bands and rock stars. Uh, just to give you a couple of examples, there is an, a fossil worm uh, named after Lemmy from Motorhead. There is a small dinosaur from Madagascar that is uh, uh, named after uh, John, um, Mark Knopfler from the Dire Straits. There is a Mastodon fossil, Mastodon being the band, not the animal. There is a Slipknot fossil. Any, any kind of, any kind of um, uh, superstar and band from the, from the rock and, and metal scene is represented in this, uh, in this exhibition. Uh, it is currently on display in Maastricht until January 3rd at the Natural History Museum and it shows, among others, the uh, fossil now described and named after Floor Johnson, but it also shows all the other fossils that, are, uh, that have been described in the past and that bear the names of uh, rock stars and rock musicians.